Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Grand Spartan, seven days to die. Been a couple, two, three game days since our last episode. Got lots of work done. I finished out what we were doing last episode with the uh, hallways over here. We'll go take a look at that in a moment. Uh, also finished out all the pillars. Got those suckers in place. And uh, been back and forth to the hub city several times. Carrying loads of stone and iron and picking up iron and so forth. Uh, made some more spikes. We're going to start placing those in this episode. Also need to get these pillars upgraded to steel in here uh, at some point. It looks a little bit something like that. We can see all the way to the top down in here. Probably won't spend much time. Also going to place some bars up there. Okay, Most of this is not dried yet. I just got through putting all this in place. And so we're going to take you up here and I'll show you the first tiers right here. And just zoop, 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 and right out there, just like that. Had some zombies come in and beat on some of the pillars as I was doing this uh, bottom one. Uh, but uh, that's what it looks like from in here. Nice little repair system for us. Loot and repair. Shoot and loot. And we'll go around here. All of these look the same, so there's no need to go. But you can see up above me the uh, many different tiers. That Spartan has cried while creating this. You know, many different tiers that uh, go out. So let's walk out to the storage. Grab our spike roonies And let's see. Uh, we'll grab the bars. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the steel. I'm probably going to need to go back to the hub and get some more scrap iron. I don't think what we have is going to be enough over here. We'll just have to see as we go along. Another thing I need to do that I need scrap iron for, and we have a horde coming up too in a couple days, uh, is I need to get barbed wire for up here. I want to make this barbed wire to slow them down so they don't just go jumping all the way down to the bottom. We need something to, a little speed bump for them there. Need to up, oh shoot, I didn't mean to turn that to steel. Whoops. There we go. Look at that sucker. Well, that looks a little silly. Kind of messed that up. I might break that with the auger and get it back to uh, concrete again. All right. Didn't want to break my leg already. I hesitated on that fall. Let's uh, let's turn. Which one should we turn to steel? You know what, I, I tell you what, we'll worry about that last. We'll worry about that last. Let's get the spikes in place now, and then we'll worry about turning those pillars into steel. Now, we're not going to worry about the exterior pillars and turning those to steel. Those will take uh, very little, if uh, any damage at all. We're mostly going to be concerned with uh, the rest. So, we could... We could start with the bottom first and work our way up. I'll be working my way back to the top. There we go. All the way down and around and around. So we're going to have a ton of spikes used up in this build. I did an estimate. I don't know how accurate that estimate may have been. It was pretty late uh, when I did it, but... You know, we should be close, so we shouldn't need many more if we need any more at all. I think, well, I can reach these to upgrade them, so I'm not going to stop to upgrade. We'll place them now, we'll upgrade them later. I'm certainly going to be low on steel, but I have plenty more at Hub City. Uh, just didn't have room when I came back over here with the concrete and the scrap and everything else that I brought with me. Uh, but I'll bring it back next time with me. And hopefully we don't have a wandering horde or something silly come through here and wreck these before I get to upgrade them to steel. Once they get to steel, then, you know, you hardly ever need to touch them, repair them, or anything. Uh, and they're good. I don't have any concrete on me, do I? Son of a gun. Hmm. A couple things I need to repair. 
All right, so this is the last side here. And then we will get up on the next tier above us. All right. I should be able to crouch if I did my math right on this and what we cannot upgrade oh yeah look at that look at that oh we're gonna be so short on scrap it's gonna be ridiculous so we are gonna oh steal to it i mean upgrade that uh what we're gonna have to do here is i'm gonna have to get them all steel because doing one tier at a time i could you know finagle get some frames or whatever but it just no rush uh, but we want to make sure uh, we can uh, we can get each row upgraded. So we'll just go ahead and do the bottom first. See how much we can get done. Uh, move up one tier at a time. How much steel do I have in my inventory? Yeah, I have enough to at least get around this bottom and maybe the next tier up or so. Uh, we'll just have to see. I think I have about double this amount of steel sitting back at the hub city. And I left one forge kicking with scrap iron, so certainly don't want to fall down in here and have to auger a, uh, a spike. If we do fall on a spike, hopefully it's a scrap iron spike and not a steel spike. Alright. Let's see how much scrap we have when we get this one done. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, everything's okay so we'll get more than I thought we would get done uh, before having to go back to the hub city oh I forgot to start a timer I don't even know where there we go right here let me get this going start I had reset it and everything and did not start it son of a gun yeah I hope everyone's keeping up with the forest episodes I'm really enjoying it it's a lot of fun it's a bit comical with the natives constantly coming in and heckling the Grand Spartan they know how to pull my strings and get my uh, get me all riled up. But the uh, base is coming along on that game too. You know, it really is. We, we went out into the middle of a lake or a pond and we started a big base and it's really starting to come together. A few things I wish I'd have done differently, but you know, it's live and learn and new game for me to be building a base on. Uh, but I'm starting to like the way it's looking and it's very easy to defend against the, uh, yeah, we'll call them natives, I was going to call them zombies, but they're more like just crazy people. Kind of like the Grand Spartan. I think what episode comes tomorrow, maybe Stranded Deep or Subnautica, we might do Subnautica tomorrow, I've been enjoying that one too. A lot of good feedback from you all on Subnautica. Uh, and that's a brand new game for me. I had never had any experience with Subnautica when we started the Let's Play. I played for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours or something, just to learn the controls and kind of figure a few little basic things out. And uh, after that, I, you know, that's all the experience I have on that game. So, uh, But a lot of good feedback from you all. You all have been enjoying it. And I've certainly been enjoying it. It's a pretty cool game. All right, let's see here. So let's do a sort. Um, we we are going to be able to get up to this tier done. Uh, so let's do that. Let's start here in the corner. You know, it might almost be easier on this smaller tiers just to do it like this. Tell you what, let me put the spikes right next to the nail gun or the nail gun right next to the spikes. You choose. I think I'll choose. There we go. I could do these from the next tier up as well. I That was part of the planning when I was coming down. I almost did these three high. And then I started thinking about not only... Uh, I may not... I may have trouble reaching. Uh, and I could come in the inside and do it. Absolutely. Uh, but I worried that I would not have enough tears. Uh you know, with the depth that it is over here. Spartan wouldn't have enough tears. 
Those alligator tears. Crocodile tears. Maybe that's what they call them. Something like that. Oh yeah, it's coming together now. Hopefully you all can see the plan that I had in mind since the very start. I envisioned this long ago. Now, Glimpse and Trip had... I don't want to say it was like this. It was, uh, it was different. You know, you all saw it on the server tour. Uh, but they had a couple tiers like this where... The zombies would fall down into their pit, and they had a way to get back behind to repair. Uh, but I, you know, I always wanted to do a, a tier fall all the way down to bedrock. Now I did a two tier fall free fall pit with spikes, just like this. But there were just there was just one big fall at the beginning, and then one you know mid sized fall or so uh, to get down to the bedrock, and it worked okay. Uh, but I thought this way with the increased number of zombies it take them a little while to get down here you know to get through especially if we put barbed wire at the beginning we're gonna slow them down just a bit we're gonna make them uh, make them just trickle down to us and hopefully we'll have a good shot uh, from the top of this base here I thought about making this all the way to surface uh, that was kind of the original intent and then uh, just from that point on I figured heck they're all going to be coming straight for the center. You know, why waste time and resources to go all the way up to the surface when we're really going to need to be at the bottom anyway because that's where they're going to go to. And we're going to need to be down here repairing the uh, pillars and shooting them and all of that stuff. All right, so we are here at the end. My only friend, the end. Now let's check our resources here. Let's get this spike in place. So, we have enough spikes to continue on. We're short on steel. Mm -hmm. May not be a bad idea at this point to go back to the Hub City. We'll, we'll go ahead and use up what we have, and then uh, we'll head back to the Hub City and grab some more steel. Maybe have to make some more steel, too. I don't, I don't know. I, I think I left behind at least a full row and a couple on another row in the storage so uh, we should have enough to get this done uh, my concern was the scrap and so I think I pumped out about 20 or 30 thousand extra scrap on top of what I had originally had uh, going in the forges uh, a couple days ago so I may have gone a little scrap crazy Kind of just taking my time here, not really rushing and laying them down too fast. I don't want to get, uh, certainly don't want to waste any resources at this point with such a resource heavy base with the spikes and all of that. I want to make sure we're careful. I've already wasted two clicks of steel on concrete that did not need to get up really. Don't need to waste any more. It's the one thing we may be a little close on. Uh, even if we're able to finish all the tiers, Let's see, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five left with this one. So five and a half or five and, yeah, two thirds or something. Uh, I need steel to repair with, you know, during the horde. And the horde is almost here. It's day 250, and I had to break the calculator out, but I'm pretty sure it's 252. 252. I think our last hoard was 246. I almost have to... Yeah, I just have to break out the calculator to know that for sure. But uh, 246, 252. Something like that. Or no. No, it would have been 40... Now, now you got me thinking. Now I'm going to have to break out the calculator. Son of a gun. Ah, oh, oh. Son of a gun. All right, here we go. 
250. Oh, it's 252. Yeah. That's it, 252. So I don't know how I just came up with that, especially with the silly time I was thinking the uh, other horde came. <laughs> I'm confusing myself here, but yeah, 252. <clears throat> so we have a couple days to finish this base out. I'd love to be able to take on the horde in this base, and I'd also love to get a little preview of this base. So we get our, we'll have to think of a good name for it. The uh, Coliseum Carnage or Carnage Coliseum or Oh Say Can You See Them or I don't know. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll have to think of something, something cool that we can call this place. And uh, we'll give it a name for our base preview for those of uh, those that don't join us on the Let's Play series, but but join us for the base previews, uh, you know we get a lot of uh, a lot of people that uh, check out the the base previews that don't eh, really have the time in their day or just you know have another YouTuber they follow for seven days to die and so they don't join us here. Uh, well, let's dump off. Shoot, what am I doing? Let's dump this stuff off. Need to get those bars installed as well. We'll take that. We'll dump these spikes here. Let's do a sort. Okay, that's all in place. Well, I hear a zombie. But I don't see a zombie. Maybe it was Nurse Nancy over there who was talking to me. Well, there is an airdrop right over here somewhere. Let's stop by and pick that up real quick. I also realized what was causing the zombies to lose their legs. They were running into cactus that were growing all about, and that's what was doing it. I uh, was really surprised to see it, but I saw it firsthand, my own eyes. I saw a zombie walk into a cactus, and boom, they hit the ground, lost their leg. Uh, it might even been a nurse, Nancy. So I was a little shocked that that would uh, have that effect. You know, I don't know if the zombies will attack a cactus like that. I don't know. I look into. I don't think you can plant that though. You can plant the the yucca. Maybe some of you know. I don't think I've ever tried to plant that. I think when you plant, because yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get yucca from the cactus, and then you plant that. You get a yucca plant. All right. that door song stuck in my head can't get it out snow is falling on the ground there are zombies all around and maybe I should do uh, maybe I should do some apocalypse poetry apocalypse poetry by Grand Spartan Yeah, I'll have to think of some poems. All right. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can cover the poetry next episode. I tell you what, I am I am beat today outside working. It's uh, it's a hundred degrees here. Plus, oh yeah, look at all that steel, and my bald head is sunburnt. <laughs> all right, let's check our scrap. Uh, it's still not pumped out like I wanted it to be. Still have another twelve thousand to go. Ah, we're gonna need more scrap. How much do we have here we can pump out? 
Not much, because I just made some more steel. Uh, there's 953 kicking here. It's almost like it paused or something since I was here. I guess it hasn't been that long since I was over here last, but this feels like uh, it should be more. There should be more. Now we could always scrap raw iron. You know, if we if it came down to it and we ran out of time, we just scrapped raw iron, and uh, that could be could be a direction that I move in as we get closer to day 252. Don't want to run out, uh, not have it finished. Right, might hear my family in the background. I apologize about that being a little noisy. Let's go ahead and take these bars along with us too. I guess street lights with the switch. Uh, let's look at that real fast here. Street light, street light, street light. What do we need? I know we need. Maybe forged iron and electrical parts. Let's let's look at it real quick. Light switch. Oh, steel and electrical parts. So how many of those suckers can we make? We can make five. We have four. Let's make four more. Yeah, a minute and forty three seconds. We'll kind of goof off here and talk about. Uh, we'll talk about the weather and you know all of that stuff. And uh, kill a few moments. <laughs> so I need to get these things topped off with stone while we're here. Alright. Little there. Little here. Same here. And I also want to check the wood in the other forges. These are fine. I'm... I'm pretty much done with the concrete portion of it, but what do we have for... Oh, yeah, okay, so I, I did. I put the extra stack. Didn't put the extra stack in that one. I wonder why I didn't do that. Let's get uh, another... Let's get another 400 in this one. That should hold us over and keep that going without question. I don't know, 375 there. Uh, oh, yeah, and I had this one going with steel, too. Let's look at it and see where it's at. Yeah, we could top that off. I tell you what, we're going to use that for scrap iron. It's 7,000 in that one. Uh, I don't, I, it's the one thing I worry about running out of uh, with a steel as well, but the scrap iron. Let's get a little bit more clay, if you may. All right, here we go. Put that there, take that 80, get this stuff back in here, click, click, sort, take every little bit, because it's going to be a little, a bit, a while before we come back here, so eat some meat stew, and then we're going to drink some golden rod tea, yummy to the last drop. Yeah, see all that concrete I have there? Uh, one thing I'd be short on would be sand, but uh, I could make a lot of sand because look at all the stone. I still have a chest of stone over there. Uh, I have plenty of bullets left over from the hoard, so we shouldn't need that. We'll take that one repair kit. And first aid kits, we're good on that. So our lights, we want to take those. There are the four lights. We have eight lights to put up. Hopefully that does not cut into our frames per second too much. And let's go ahead and get a little bit more iron pumping out here. Another 2,000 there. And I'll save that for steel. All the rest of it will save for steel. And that's enough to hold me over for, whoa, at least a moment. Uh, I wonder if I can find a place for these kind of lights that are up in here. Up in here, I have six. And we may find a place, you know, down in the little pit, the uh, kill box or whatever. We may, we may use a few in there. Well, that completely wiped me out of steel and scrap iron. I'm uh, huh, really hoping... Let me pause here for just a moment for station identification. All right. 
I didn't know if I had started the recording or not. There's nothing to tell me that it is recording. So <laughs> every once in a while I panic. I'm like, am I recording or am I just talking to myself? Well, I talk to myself anyway, but someone asked me that. Spartan, when you're not recording, do you talk to yourself while you're playing the game? <laughs> like, well, maybe inside my, my head I do, but I don't talk out loud so others can hear me. Something we haven't done in a while is we've been to a hardware. You know, we stopped by on the stream. I think it was on the stream we stopped by a hardware, and we found a 568 auger is how our number is so high on our auger now. We have a lot of uh, good stuff there. But, but uh, yeah, I don't really know that I've been to any other hardware stores. I haven't been to a gun store in a long time. Don't really need to. I have so many gun parts. I don't have a place to keep them. Uh, but the hardware stores need to maybe keep dropping by those from time to time. I thought about it on the stream just to change it up and give us something different to do to uh, stop by there. But Checking those bags for that 600 machete that we're owed. This game owes me a 600 machete. I know that. Anything less, anything less would be uncivilized. No, anything less, and we're going to scrap it. Yeah, lots of pistols. Lots of 9mm pistols. No machete. One machete in 250 days. And I made it a point there for a while to stop by every single bag that I would find and loot that bag. And no luck. So maybe Alpha 16 it would be excellent if there were a recipe. I don't want to have to mod the game for it, you know. It really, it's not much better than the Spike Club. Once you get all the points in Spike Club, you don't really, you know, have to have, to have a machete. I think the dismemberment chance might be a little higher or something, but... Yeah, it's not that much better. One thing I'm excited about, I guess this is going to be implemented, some of you probably tell me, would be the compound bow. If they include the compound bow in Alpha 16, you know, I would prefer to, because you know me, I mean, up until this Let's Play and we were really deep in the Let's Play, I had no use for a gun at all. I just, on the server, once we get progressed, uh deeply enough into the game into the days i would then use one uh, but uh otherwise yeah i never use guns i just they're kind of a waste for me uh, with the amount of resources it costs to create the the bullets sorry about that nurse nancy looked like you needed a face job oh look at her bringing me the splint you know what that means that means that here pretty soon Grand Spartan's going to lose his leg. I lost my, uh, lost my ability to shoot heads with the rifle. Uh, see there? What happened to him? He just out in the blue, like, just lost his leg. What, what did he step on? Did he, like, stub his toe and his leg just exploded off of his body? Or what happened? I don't understand that. So uh, maybe I was wrong. There's a cactus right there, and a zombie walked up to it, and boom, leg came off. So I thought, well, hey, you know, that's pretty cool. To... Where did Nurse Nancy come from? The cactus will take their legs off. Well, that dude was just walking in open dirt. Like he hit a blade of grass, and boom, leg's gone. What's up with that? I didn't know that was a thing. All right, so we'll go over here and we'll drop down tier by tier and get these frames picked up. Kind of hope to get all of these spikes put down in this episode, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We're... I didn't want to run very long today. Uh, and I also kind of don't want to have to do anything off the episode, uh, the let's play from this point to the horde. So hopefully you can get most of this done. I need to hurry though. I'm, I'm kind of wasting time here. This might even be easier to do it this way than the way I was doing it before. Well, unless you 
don't upgrade it all the way. Boy, I hope nothing happens to us and we fall and our bag gets destroyed because we have a lot of steel and scrap in our inventory. Have a wandering horde come along and... I tell you what, let's do it this way one time. Because I can certainly move faster placing the spikes this way. Let's just see. Oh, I'm nervous with that splint Nurse Nancy brought me that... That was an omen. That was a sign. A sign of falling. I'm going to back into a spike and get thrown down into the spike pit and break my leg. Can't think like that, Spartan. You have to think healthy leg. Rubber legs. Yeah, I had rubber legs in that stream, you know. That house caved in during the horde, fell down. Solid as a rock. No broken legs. Or, I guess I should say flexible as rubber. Okay, I'm a little nervous now. Back at these spikes, I had to take a look. See where we were at. Uh, someone just said to Game for Kicks was going to be the guy that they went to for streaming for the stream team, and that's excellent. Uh, there's no one more deserving than that gentleman. Uh, he, you know. If you don't record videos and you don't do editing and all of that, and you really don't know what he puts into his videos, and uh, it, you know he puts a lot of effort and a lot of heart. I mean, you can hear that in his voice how excited he is, and he sees every episode he's that way. He really gets up for it. You know, the gentleman probably works a uh, you know a job as well and does that. So, yeah. Good for him. Great for him. That guy deserves, you know, another million subscribers plus uh, more than what he has. And unfortunately, I've not had the opportunity to get over there and uh, see his channel in a while. Uh, it's just been a long time, actually. But I need to get over there and, and support him. And I hope you all support him as well. Uh, well good old game for kicks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow gamers. He's like that every episode, full of energy. Here we are, probably the exact opposite of that. We're very laid back. Welcome to the Grand Spartan Channel. Here comes a thousand zombies. No need to panic, we'll just use our trusty spike club. <laughs> Everyone kind of has their own thing, but, uh, but yeah, good for him. I, I need to go check out the polls and see if he did uh, pull it out. In fact, and uh, excited for that guy. And I appreciate all of you who supported me on there. I mean, there were a ton of people that went out and supported and voted for my little tiny channel here. And I didn't even know there was such a thing until someone said, Hey, Spartan, you're like in second place on a poll. You know, it's like, what, what kind of poll? Like, yeah, you know, the seven days to die thingamajiggy. Well, I don't know what that is, but all right. Went and checked it out. I was really surprised. I appreciate that. Really do. I'm not deserving. So, I don't know. Let's see. How long have we been recording? Hmm. It's probably, probably, probably like around... 30 or 40 minutes or something like that. We'll do this one tier here and then I'll probably call it an episode and I'll finish the last uh, three on my own because this is probably pretty boring watching me do this. Uh, I tell you what, uh, I'll do this and then we'll get, okay, we'll get the bars put on the lower section and then we'll call it right there back into the spikes. Don't you fall, Grand Spartan. Everyone's going to laugh at you and your broken leg if you do. It's going to be none of that. No laughing at the Grand Spartan's broken leg, because there will be no broken leg. Let's just peep over the edge here. <laughs> I don't know which way is faster. I guess this way is a little bit faster, because we don't ever stop. We really just keep moving.
Yeah, so give me some names. We only have like a day left. Uh, I'll try to, you know, take your, your names for this base. Uh, the, uh, you know, kind of looks like a coliseum or an arena or something. But yeah, call it whatever you want to. Come up with some creative names. Throw it in chat. Uh, last couple builds, I've used one of the subscribers' suggestion for a name. It's not guaranteed, but if I think it's good enough, uh, not good enough, but if I think it's appropriate and matches what we've done here, I'd love to use your your title for the build, your name for this particular build. Think about that. A moment of silence here while you think about think about a name. <laughs> Give you a little look around here. Let's see what it looks like. We'll take one more look at it too from above whenever we finish this up. And when I get to this last row here, the end of this row. I want to take a look back uh, at our inventory and see how we're doing on steel. Uh, I need to be a little more methodical with that. <clears throat> I'm pretty me methodical with a lot of things. When it comes to resource counts, because I do so many builds, I, I don't really do a lot of uh, keeping track of all of that. But I should. Uh, I've been doing a poor job of that. So let's put our iron bars on here. I think we may have just enough to finish I don't know that for sure but uh, we're just gonna hope that we do and if we don't we'll go back over to the hub city before the horde hits uh, yeah I actually may have some steel lying around at some of the bases the other bases uh, just you know that we could use but I have to have enough scrap iron to put at least one row maybe two of barbed wire going around here uh, it'd be great to have two, but if we can only get one, that's fine as well. I think we're good on bars. I'll have to count out, find center points to put lights. We'll certainly put a light on each corner, but that's not going to be enough to, to get us you know, light all the way down. We'll also want to put a little light in here. It'd be so cool if this game were optimized and you could just put 50 lights in a building... Uh, we'd do it. You know, I'd just load this place up with lighting. It would look awesome. Uh, it's a huge problem with lag. If uh, if you do that, it just freezes up when the horde hits. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here is the trouble spot. I have to teeter on the edge. I mean right on the edge. All right. Woo. I do not want to fall and break my leg at the end of this episode. I'm going to have to do it multiple times here, too. It would not be good. Make sure I... Let's, well, let's get these couple on first. And then I'll make sure I have enough gas in the auger to take out a spike. 124. That should be enough to take out a steel spike, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Whew. Come on, Spartan. There, there, there it is. There, it's right. No. Not quite. Close enough, though. We'll use it. We will use it. Solid point to attach to there. Let's step on it. Don't fall. Whew. You know what? We could just do this right here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Don't you fall, Grand Spartan. Falling is not allowed today on this episode or ever. Uh, I could probably... Oh, I bet I can't reach that. Oh, yeah, I can. I can. 
So there's a good little gap between there and here. I could probably go one more bar out. I don't think I will. I think I'll just do the, the one uh, out. Give us a little something to kind of teeter out on. And uh, if that's even a word, teeter. I'm teetering right now on the brink of death and destruction here on this edge. And it's not wanting to let me. Oh! Oh, that was close. Too close. All right, but we did it. Have it do it one more time in order to finish these bars out here. Let's get there, and don't you fall, Grand Spartan. Don't you do it. Oh, it kind of drifts a little bit, too. Did you see that? <laughs> when I stepped down, it drifted about three or four inches. Okay, so we just need to do that one more time, right? Yeah, one more time. So I worried if I did it out again, and then this is going to be another reason why uh, I put barbed wire at the top so they can't just come running off the edge and fly through the air and like Superman land on top of this base. I almost ate it right there. Again. Can I put it there? Oh man. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna fall today right here at the end of the episode. Then we'd have to extend the episode because it'd probably take me ten minutes to auger the spike and get back up and oof. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's get over here. Lay it down. Here we go. All right. Ah. Boom. All right. Well, that does it there. This is what it's looking like. It's all coming together now, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what I could do with the lighting I have. I really don't need lighting in here anywhere, but maybe inside the the little kill box area, we could put some lighting in there. The strip lighting, uh, the, the bar lighting or whatever. The street lights, you know, we're going to put out here. We'll put around the edge, and hopefully they don't bump into it. I, you know, I'm sure some may... So come up with a name, uh, throw it in the comment section below the video here and see what all you can come up with. But that's what it's looking like. It, it's looking pretty cool, I guess. You know, it's about what I expected. But uh, three more tiers. I'll finish that off uh, recording here. And maybe we'll just run a little bit of time off the clock. I'll put the barbed wire down up top and our next episode will be the horde. It would be excellent. Well, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located, and I'll see you all tomorrow.